The first part of every weekend excursion involves a 20 minute walk into town. That may seem like a nuisance, but for somebody like me who sits in front of a laptop five days a week working, it's really nice to actually get out and get some natural exercise and just spend 20 minutes relaxing, seeing the beautiful flowers, beautiful views, sweating under the hot sun. <laughs> uh, but it is it's very peaceful. There aren't too many cars. Of course, I'm sure as I say this, there'll be a, a freaking parade coming right down here shortly. But it's really a nice 20 minute walk to help kind of clear the mind and mentally recharge. First stop of the day is lunch right by the beach. Beautiful view, great meal, provided by my favorite roadside vendor right across the street, who I've actually featured in another video, video earlier. I guess Fanta's great as well. I don't think I've ever had Fanta in the United States. I think the only time I've ever drank Fanta was when I was in foreign countries. I don't know what that means. Next stop is getting to the ATM. It took me a little while to find an ATM that takes my credit card, my debit card, but I found one. I usually use credit cards and debit cards for most transactions, but it's always nice to have a little bit of cash on you at all times. And I'm not going to type in my pin in front of you. I think I'll turn off the camera first. Next up is the Chattel Village in Whole Town. Chattel refers to the style of housing, and each one of these little quaint places is a different store and if you look down there you see it's kind of a circular walkway I would say 12 to 15 of these little stores and in the middle of it all they have a little cafe that has great smoothies all right despite my best intentions I did the touristy thing and I bought a Barbados Bayesian slang dictionary I bought the Barbados chocolate rum cake, and, and I will send this to someone in America. I bought a miniature Mount Gay Black Barrel small batch handcrafted rum bottle. Super touristy, but sometimes when you spend a year in a Barbados, you have to be a tourist, and sometimes you have to act like a local. Today was a bit of a touristy day, and I have no regrets. All right, we're here at Lime Grove. You know we're there because of the cow. I'm heading to one of their two theaters to catch a movie for the first time in what's been about a year and a half. They're playing The Quiet Place 2. And for a nerdy audio engineer like me, any story that involves a significant component of sound for its plot is interesting. Well, we're here, but major bummer, they're no longer playing A Quiet Place 2. Apparently movies here have a one week runtime, and I missed it. Now they're playing something else that I don't want to see. Well, this is what you get. I told you, it was an average Saturday, not an extraordinary one. So uh, you get a host that doesn't plan ahead enough. Uh, anyways, on to plan B. Since the movie fell through, it's time to take a break and order a rum punch by the water courtyard in the Lime Grove Shopping Center. What a great place to stop by, get out of the sun, and have a great rum punch. Barbados is very proud of their rum, as they should be. And every rum punch I've had is amazing. Well, the silhouette of palm trees in the distance means we have come to the end of another day, another Saturday, in Whole Town Barbados. Thank you all for joining me, and until next time, take care. <laughs>